Hello and welcome to Knobcat Games Dungeons of the Obelisk podcast. I'm your host, Joseph Sleppy, and I'm joined with returning champion, oh. Nike Deer. Oh, thanks. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're also joined today by Ben Segus. Yep. Hi, I'm Ben. <laughs> yeah, so let's just jump right in you know we did our introductions last time so um why don't you introduce yourself ben sure i am ben uh i usually go by ben draws life on all my social media and stuff uh, i am from well i'm initially from new york but i've moved all around and now i'm in las vegas uh, oh wow i actually didn't know that oh yeah yeah, because um, I, I was in Portland for a while, oh, hell yeah. like five years or so, and then moved down to Las Vegas. And that's that, that's why the, the air conditioning is crucial. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm my official title, I think, is what, Art Lord? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've yeah. given everybody like uh, important titles. And I kind of felt like yours was like, I wanted to, I was going to say Arts Lord, so it was kind of like Star Lord, <laughs> but like, I feel, felt like Art Lord sounded better. Yeah, that works. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I do all the art stuff prior to animation, so <laughs> that's, that's what I do. Um, yeah. I mean, on the, not related to Knobcat, I just do freelance artwork, a lot of commission stuff. I've got a few projects actually going right now. I've been working with, um, well, working on a, a big old project, which is uh, Blue Contact, or Blue Planet Recontact. It's a, a another a tabletop game that is in development <laughs> or something like that yeah. nice um but i'm just doing a bunch of creatures for that so that's a lot of fun too so <laughs> yeah you're kind of like uh carving out a niche for yourself as like the creature guy yeah and i'm i'm totally cool with that because i like drawing creatures <laughs> so <laughs> it, it works out like i mean yeah I've, I've obviously got the creature comics and then creature drawings for like well i mean i've been doing a lot of like rpg related um illustration work for the last couple years ish <laughs> uh especially working with like uh the god's fall podcast as well like aram has me doing all the character illustrations and a lot of the creatures for that too so Again, creatures, which are a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> right on. And let's see, I, I'm making everybody do a random fact. Oh, so yeah. Do you have a random... Oh, gosh. I feel like my brain is like a vast center of useless knowledge, but of course, when I try to access any of that knowledge, it's like, nope, no can do. I mean, the only thing... Like, well, the first thing that came to mind is... Well, it was a kind of recent Google search <laughs> because I was doing a commission that was of a, of a T-Rex and I was curious as to whether T-Rex's arms were actually wings because like there's a lot of like related structure with like how their arms look and how wings are formed especially for like ostriches and stuff yeah. but i mean birds are dinosaurs yeah exactly so like i was just curious like are the those arms are they actually just like kind of useless wings that they had like claws at the tips of because there are a lot of dinosaurs that were winged that had claws at the tips of their wings but apparently t-rex is a no-go for wings unfortunately <laughs> All right, on. So it's a non-avian dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of a bummer because, like, especially 
since a lot of the dinosaurs were like feathered as well, like I just was really hoping that they had wings. Like I don't know why, but <laughs> it was just something I was hoping for. <laughs> yeah, I guess we kind of like associate wings and feathers and and birds all together, but I guess you can be feathered and not have wings. Yeah. Or is yeah. T-Rex just <laughs> not feathered at all? See, I feel like I've seen some representations of them with some feathers, but I don't know if it's actually T-Rex or if it's just like an associated similar like offshoot <laughs> that <Yeah. laughs> that had had the feathers instead. Yeah, well, whenever I was a kid, dinosaurs were just lizards, so. Yeah, exactly. Like they they've <laughs> definitely evolved in in what they're probably supposed to look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I used to be like big into dinosaurs like as a kid and I still have that little bit of fascination about that, but um that's a good random fact. I feel like that <laughs> definitely tells us something about you yeah, it tells That's you that awesome. i'm very long-winded about random facts so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so that's that's my random fact <laughs> yeah so as far as i know no dinosaurs in dungeons of the obelisk yet yeah not so. yet <laughs> not yet um that's a good idea for a breach though i should probably jot that down yeah <laughs> Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So let's uh talk about like what's happening right now yeah. in the game. I guess, which is we have the start of a game. <laughs> um. It's a, a game. lot of people maybe. <laughs> yeah, a lot of everybody that's been uh keeping up on stuff in our Discord or whatever knows that I like streamed the prototype last night. But uh, I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? Oh my gosh, yeah, like, I, I mean, I've, I poked around the uh, prototype a little on my own, but I uh, I was napping last night, and then I got up, and it was like, there was a stream two hours ago, and I I was so hyped to see that, <laughs> like, I knew you said you were doing it that night, I just, it kind of slipped my mind, and I went back and I watched the whole <laughs> thing, and... I mean, I've said this already, but more than ever, I'm just like, this is so cool. I want to put my animations in it. So it's exciting. It's very exciting. <laughs> it's looking good so far. I'm, I'm kind of surprised how fast we got a, got something together. Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about on the stream. It's almost like, like, I can't think of the word, but like we, we have so, we got so much so fast that it's kind of like, almost a misrepresentation of like how quickly games come together because we've got a dude running around a dungeon fighting uh slimes already but it's only been two weeks and this thing's gonna take like a year you know so like i don't want yeah. people to get the wrong idea and be like oh wow they're they're really coming along but like at the same time it's it's pretty amazing yeah definitely. definitely like the it just feels so much more real even though it's so early on you know <laughs> yeah yeah that's a good way to put it like it's it's starting to feel very real you know like before i was just kind of doing like abstract stuff like forming an llc and talking to an accountant and stuff and now like we've focused in and like we're actually making the game now yeah i definitely think that speaks volumes about kel's ability <laughs> like he's blowing it away <laughs> yeah that's for sure Ooh, some a note a note to make for later is i don't think we have kel on the website last time i checked we should get him a profile on there yeah i've been waiting for uh the mm. official art for everybody and then uh, then i was gonna update the site yeah, gotcha, that's gotcha. actually what I'm working on next is the the avatars. So <laughs> they should be well. I mean, depending on how long it takes, but shouldn't take too long. They should be pretty straightforward. <laughs> so hopefully soon. <laughs> yeah, that'll be exciting because we'll start having our avatars, which will be basically our characters in the game. So people will get another 
look at like what the character creator can do even though we don't have a creator yet but you're just kind of doing it manually yeah it's it's yeah. definitely going to be like uh kind of lead into the cr- character creator i guess like <laughs> just showing what it's it's possible to do and then we can actually show well i mean there's going to be a little bit of customizability with uh our own avatars <laughs> but yeah it, it'll be fun to kind of get a feel for what you can do and how you can make your character look and once you start playing (laughs) yeah that's something i'm super excited to see is just like myself in the game (laughs) yeah that's that's one of the things about like games that i always really enjoy is just yeah the character creators yep i mean that's usually how i end up spending my first several hours of a game (laughs) is just playing around with the character (laughs) creator yeah, and to me, if a game doesn't have a character creator, like, um, there's a lot of mobile games where they're, like, hundreds of champions, and you're, like, supposed to, like, collect champions and stuff, and I hate that kind of gameplay. I, like, I just want one dude that looks like me. Yeah. And that's that's what, I, what this game's gonna be. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot more, um, personal if you can like actually make it definitely totally customized to yourself like nobody else is going to look like your character necessarily like something that i think back to is uh like we all have heard of like the uh cyberpunk 2077 debacle uh i actually got really excited about its dumb character creator and that was pretty much the motivation that got me through that game because it is a mess <laughs> but i love playing as my my like cyber like cyborg girl she's awesome <laughs> <laughs> and yeah i i think a good character creator is like i mean like heck like another example is like Mass Effect Andromeda, because that game's like kind of not a great Mass Effect game, but like I played the demo and once I had a character, I was like, well, shit, I want to play the rest of the game to like <laughs> get more time with this character, I guess. It makes a lot of sense to me to have like your own person in a game. That seems like a good way to immerse somebody. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's something that like I'm very adamant about on this is like having a lot of options for the character creator because a lot of times like you know i'm a white man and i have a pretty uh standard hairstyle and if i'm like going through a a freaking character creator and it doesn't have like my hairstyle i'm like what's up with this game so like i want everyone to be able to have that experience where they like scroll through and find their hairstyle and stuff so like you know like eyes and and um you know mouth and stuff will be a little more stylized i think you know like they're gonna be different variations of lines but like i think having that that hairstyle even if you end up just putting a helmet over top of it i think that's something that's really cool yeah, definitely. That's going to be something for your homework, Ben, is to research um, hairstyles and stuff for. Oh yeah, I mean, I've, I've I've already made a habit of just kind of keeping mental notes of really cool and unique hairstyles, anyway, from other projects. So this this will be <laughs> a shoe in for that. Like, I I don't know. I, I really like drawing different interesting hairstyles, so I'm down for it. <laughs> Yeah, that's perfect then. (laughs) That's something too where we can start with like a good selection and then add some as as they we have the need for them, you know. If you know, that'll be something if people can make a support ticket and let us know if there's a hairstyle missing, we can uh work on that. Yeah, definitely. Like Um (laughs) That's basically uh so so the rest of the podcast we kinda do a what are you working on right now? So that's kind of you're working at what you're working on right now. How about you, Nico? What are you um, into right now? Mm, sounds good. Um, well, I was spending the last few weeks getting used to Unity, learning the tools, and working on an idle animation. Uh, at this point, I've got a pretty good idle animation going. 
Uh, I finally figured out how to attach items. It's actually really simple, but like most things in Unity, it it's like really obtuse until you know right where it is. <laughs> so um, that's been going well. Oh yeah, I I tried messing around. Oh, I tried messing around earlier in in the project because like Kel made those videos showing like oh you can uh, change their stats and do this stuff if you need to. You know, and I was going to get in and start testing some numbers and stuff. And yeah, Unity is like crazy because oh, like my is. screen wasn't set up the way that Kells was set up. So I'm assuming he has more like, a, you know, his workflow and I have like the default. So like I couldn't find anything. So the fact that you're able to get in there and animate anything is incredible to me. Oh, it's awesome. I mean. If I'm being real, like, I'm playing with this and, like, already thinking about, like, other stuff I want to try to do in Unity. Like, the tools are really nice. I just wish they were more accessible. Like, if anyone in the Unity dev team's listening, like, take notes from Cinema 4D. They have a great user interface. It's color-coded. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my next, uh goal is uh, I'm going to be working on the slime idols for our slime mobs and... Uh, I want to work on the attack animation. I think that one's going to be a lot of fun because it involves like physically moving the characters yeah. like sprite and animating it at the same time. And that's that's going to I think I'm going to enjoy that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm so stoked to see the slime. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm having such a hard time deciding between like the three segment one and the one segment one because the one segment would definitely be like simpler but like animating three separate layers is like really really seductive <laughs> for my little animator brain i love that stuff yeah nike you always want to like go big and, yeah. and beautiful on your animations and i have to keep reeling you back in and say like no i, I it needs to be a little simpler yeah that's actually that's worth talking about too because like yeah like i think my first animation had like squash and stretch and complicated bone animations and and you were just like okay that's impressive turn it down <laughs> sorry that was loud <laughs> yeah that was uh <laughs> yeah i think like kel kel kind of told us like there's going to be like a thousands of animations, <laughs> you know, it's going to be, yeah. you know, crazy. And if we have like, um, movie quality animation for like everything, it's going to run very slowly. <laughs> yeah. That's honestly, with that in mind, the single sprite or the single body sprite slime would probably be a lot less intensive. And I could probably still make some good animation out of that. It's just, ah, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's fun so far. I'm yeah. I mean, I just did the three segment thing, so it was something mm. to play with. You didn't have to use it. Definitely, or <laughs> I just made it available. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm I'm loving playing with your artwork. It's like excellent for this and it's surreal not being the one having to make the art that I then animate because usually I, I'm doing like all of it for myself so it's really fun just being like oh my god this art is beautiful let's make it move <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> I mean for me doing like still images all the time it's it's just mind-blowing seeing it moving and in, especially in ways that I didn't necessarily think of to begin with. So, like, it's really cool. Yeah. Like, I love it. <laughs> right on. Yeah, I guess the next step, probably, probably, I imagine, like, on the next SOW or something, we'll focus on, like, getting the animations, like, more integrated and stuff. But that's more of, like, on Kel's end of things. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, that'll be, like, crazy to see the next prototype with everything moving around and bobbing and idling and <laughs> and looking more more real. I can't wait to get, like, our backgrounds in the dungeon and stuff. You know, the prototype that we showed just has placeholder um, dungeon tiles and torches and things like that. So when we get Ben's backgrounds in there, it's going to be 
incredibly beautiful. <laughs> I, I spent a little time before the podcast uh, checking out the background, too. I really appreciate that you, like, separate the, the liquid and the glows specifically as separate sprites, because that will make them really easy to animate with. I think that should probably work fine. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you guys want to know what I'm working on right now? Hell yeah. <laughs> We we t we talked about all the exciting game stuff. I spent the morning updating the poli privacy policy on the website. Apparently, we were out of compliance according to the lawyers. Ooh. So <laughs> we we now have a privacy policy, <laughs> and we have rules on our Discord. So that's uh exciting too. Oh yeah, I, I, I saw that. those pop up. <laughs> Yeah, we're officially a community Discord now, Ooh, which means nice. we can show up in searches. And I don't know how to search on Unity, but we we can, and, or on Unity, yeah, in Discord. Um, but we can be searched in Discord now, and uh, yeah, I don't know. We have some other like weird, <laughs> like uh, administrative things that we can do with our server now. But uh, it's all like back end stuff that is a little confusing. But uh, yeah, I think that's maybe a good segue to let everybody know about the Discord. I'm not sure how you found the podcast if you're not on the Discord, but if you've made it here and you've listened this far, you need to join our Discord and, and come hang out and chat with us. Um, you can find the link on knobcat.com. I kind of just segued right into the end of the uh, no, end no, of the episode. Good. Anything else we need to talk about? <laughs> I think that covers everything. I, and that was a very natural segue. So I was I was just in awe for a second. <laughs> yeah, and then I talked about it, which is the rule <laughs> not to do. Yeah, I mean, I guess that that can be the the ending then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's just. Uh, officially wrap it up then thanks everybody for listening and mm -hmm. we'll probably be back in two weeks again and knobcat.com for all your dungeons of the obelisk needs um see you next time bye 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 <laughs> bye <laughs>